<laughs> Welcome back, everyone. So, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know I don't usually do unboxing, right? Unboxing products. A lot of that is because I don't bring products to you to review that I don't like, that I think is crap, in my opinion, right? And everyone's opinion is different and varies. Uh, your mileage may vary, as I like to say. I don't do unboxings because I don't want to open up something and it be crap and then I have to say it's crap and and or, or not because I don't want to talk bad of a brand or a company. And then what happens is I just end up not doing the video, giving the product back, and often they just say throw it away, but then I wasted my time. Like, this is time out of my day, right? So I don't usually do them, but today we're going to do one. That's probably the long way of me telling you we're going to do an unboxing today. This is from Rhino Rescue. This is their, one of their iFacts. I'm actually not entirely sure which one it is. We're going to find out, but when you get it, this is what it looks like. It came in a box like this, and there's Rhino Rescue IFAC is what we're looking at today. All right, so let's open this up. Get this out of the way. Let's see, we've got some information here. Rhino Rescue First Aid of Mercy prepared us for disasters. Uh... Talks about all the stuff that's in there. Uh, chest seal, splints, emergency bandage, nasal airways, which I won't be doing. Now, look, there's a lot of stuff. Like, I would never do a nasal airway on zone, right? I'm not trained in that, so I wouldn't do that. But I'm a strong believer in having it. Like, I usually carry a, uh, what do you call it, a decompression syringe or needle in my, in my, my first aid kits. Because I'm a firm believer... That even though I may not be able to use it, there's always a chance that someone will be on scene that can use it, knows how to use it, but yet doesn't have it. And that has actually happened to me, believe it or not. So, so you get that inside the package. And what is this here? You get this TCC card. Uh, basically, yeah, all right. Information you'd fill up maybe for EMTs, paramedics. Uh, again, a little beyond me. I'm just the guy that will do the best I can to stabilize you, make you as comfortable as possible, and call 911. All right? That's that's what I do. But, but I mean, I like it. I like the fact that they put that in there. They give options. And what is this? Can I take this off? I'm going to take this off. I want to take this off. What is this? Well, let's get this off. Boom! Put that down for now. Rhino Rescue. Not a whole lot. Am I missing something? No, okay. Well, there's nothing in there. You want to uh, pause that. Scan that with your phone. Ready? Go. <laughs> okay, get that off. Don't need that. So, here is... Removable Rhino Rescue Rubber. Um, their logo, the patch. Feels like a really nice case. Oops. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. This is real. That's pretty cool. I wonder if these do. Yes, they do. Oh, that's fantastic. You know that? I like, I really like when companies, BDS Tactical is a great one. They're external pouches for backpacks. I like when companies make uh, pouches for various things and they include these that are locked on. I don't lose, um, when, when companies don't have them and you have to use various things for that, I don't lose that. But I do know people do and I'm, and I'm really hope that you already know how to work with, uh, the pals webbing there with your molly pouches and uh here's another one up here uh-huh uh -huh. that's pretty good and i could tell you a little loose thread but i mean the quality fans it doesn't feel cheap i don't hold companies responsible for a loose thread now and then that to me that's not a big deal it really isn't some laser cut pals webbing on the side there's really nothing in the front other than that 
more pals webbing on the side again a lot of molly different attachments and all that on there let's go to the top of well, the bottom is well nothing rhino rescue I'll do this first. Boom. Whoa! Check that out. Oh, that's pretty interesting. I like that. So you could... Oh, all right. I see. I see. And it is tied in there. Can that come up? Well, you could cut that if you so wanted to. Sorry. Again, this is... I'm just looking at this for the first time myself. Okay. Line of Rescue. I mean, it really is a nice, it does feel fantastic quality. Can you see that? Can you see that? A lot of room in here. If you wanted to add some more, you could. There's a whole bunch of stuff there. And then here's a separate kind of a little pouch. I suppose if that's on your person or maybe hanging on a pack, because that's usually, as you know, I usually hang on the other side of my packs, preferably in the front, and you just rip this off, it's not going to... And this can't come off if you didn't want that, obviously, right? I just want to look. So for me, right, the, the real important thing, not only, right, obviously, the stuff inside is important, but I want to know how is the quality. That is not bad. Really good nylon thick. Very interesting camo pattern. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That's pretty cool. Rhino Rescue. So let's look at this portion here. What we, what do we have? Emergency bandage. And it is sealed. When I tell you that is vacuum sealed, I, I mean that is vacuum. Trauma wound. Dressing, hemorrhage control, bandage, four inch. That is super sealed. And I'm not going to do it, but obviously you grab it, rip right there. Nice. I like that. Let me put my knife away because I would cut myself. I've done it. And we got a couple more bandages. What do we have here? This is combat tape. Yes. Do you carry tape in your first aid kit and or your backpack? I actually do. I carry a little small roll of... Uh, duct tape i do i do i do this is elastic creep i've never seen that before bandage minor rescue so they obviously have their own brand of medical supplies and here again let's look at this one more time right you can obviously kind of add you can take away stuff. You can add if there's anything particularly you don't have in here that you really like. And this is their tourniquet. Quick launch configuration. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We're going to look at this because these are important. These are really important. We're going to look at the tourniquet in a minute after I go over the rest of this. Let's get this out of the way. And what do we have in here? I really need a bigger table. I do. See, nothing down in that pocket. Down in this pocket, what do we have? A marker, which is good. Because when you know, I'm sure you know, I mean, when you put on a tourniquet, you really need to keep track of the time. Uh, you have to write down the time and, and so on when it was applied. Uh, that is really important because they can't just go on and stay on forever, right? Uh -huh. You know what this is for. Have you ever had one of these? I've had one of these put in. Not fun. Got a little lubrication. We all like the lubrication jelly, right? We've got some scissors. I want to see the quality of these scissors. Let's check this out. How do I get them out? How do I get them out? Open, open. Are they childproof? <laughs> of course they are. Open this, put that aside. Got some nice scissors. Look at that. Carabina, Rhino Rescue, so their own brand. Ooh, those are really good. Do I have something to cut? I do. Maybe that's why they put this in there. Woo! That is thick. Do you see that? That is really thick. Yep, those are good. These are not cheap at all. As far as uh, the, the quality, those are really nice, and I like that. Not sure if I would ever need that. Great, great quality. Let's put that aside. 
We also have the chest seal vented. I always carry a couple of these in my kits all the time, especially my car kit, uh, which is much larger. And um, really important, another thing to have. We have compressed gauze, gauze, depending on where you're from. And uh, kind of a Z-fold. You've seen those also vacuum packed, really, really well sealed. Anything down in, nothing else down in there. This is big. I mean, I like the fact they got really good quality stuff as well as more room to add. If you so wish, we have some rubs, rubs, <laughs> rubber gloves, got a rubber gloves and emergency blankets, uh, up to 9% heat, emergency use, keep warm, reusable, waterproof and, uh, ooh, shiny. That's pretty interesting. It looks green, camel green, but anyway, um, yeah. Nice to have, good thing to have, especially if you're, uh, you're patient or you're in shock. Now, here is the tourniquet. Now, I might be wrong, but if I can't get in it, I die. No, if I can't, um, it's not a cat. It's similar to a cat. What do we got here? Combat application tourniquet, Rhino Rescue. Mm -hmm. Different color tourniquets. Oh, <laughs> don't watch me. There you go. Now, if you don't know how to put on a tourniquet, you really should familiarize yourself with them because without that, they're really not very useful. Get rid of that. And let's see. I mean, it feels good. It doesn't feel cheap. I want to test the Velcro here. Wow, that's strong. Yep, that's really good Velcro. There you go. It's good quality. Not bad. Now, I have watched a couple of videos because I, I I wanted to see how it, how are they, you know? You know, I mean, this, you put on the wrong tourniquet, you're in trouble. Not bad. You would write on there. See that? After you, the windlass, and you put your time. Let's move this out of the way. Let's open this up. Now, this is something really important to look at. You see that there? There's not a lot. So, right, I, I was watching one video of someone with it with it with a cheat you know, knock off cat tourniquet. And this went around probably seven times. <laughs> you're you're going to be dead by then, right? It, it, this, there's not a lot of slack there. So you're not going to need that many times. Now, ready? Whoa, that's, that's plastic, but that is, wow. Again, that same video, they bent this all the way over to a U. I'm not kidding. This is hot. I'm not. Yeah. Shit. Sorry about that. That hurts. <laughs> I have a. I hurt my thumb, and uh, well, I just did it again. Anyway, um, that is good quality. I wouldn't mind that. I, I would feel safe with that. I'll tell you what. You know what? I would not just put this on myself. I would use this on my son. Look at that. One turn, it is down. You get another turn. Pop it in, right? You know how they work. Where to go? There we go. Boom, that would hold it in place, preferably straight. Put the time on there. That is, so look, when you're going to get a tourniquet, right, you want to look at a couple things, right? You want to look at all this smooth, right? You like that. You want to look at the space underneath here. That is important, right? Look at how quickly, ready? One, and that it's down, right? And you can get a couple more out of there. Let's keep twisting. That, that's good. That is good. I like that. And again, really important. Ew. Gotta stop doing that. You don't want these to bend or break. I just tried. 
God, no, it's not moving. That is fantastic. Rhino Rescue. Right, good. This is this is good. I would use this on myself. I would put this on one of my family members without a doubt. I feel very safe with that. Great scissors. Everything here is really good to have. You might want to add a couple of things. I'll probably put a few bit. I mean, this this is a stop the bleed kit, right? This is for something serious. When you're breaking out these and these <laughs> <laughs> and shock blankets, I call them. You know, like it's serious, but maybe a couple band aids because I put more band aids on my kids or people than I've ever done anything to anybody. Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. This is definitely uh, gonna go in one of my systems. I highly recommend this. I'm glad we did the, this uh, unboxing together, and I'm glad it worked out because then I didn't waste my time. And uh, because again, if 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 I didn't like it, I'm not bringing it to you. That simple. And that's the truth. This is a great kit. I'm looking forward to maybe checking out some of their other stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope you see more of this Rhino Rescue on this channel uh, in the very near future. Be well, everybody. Stay safe. Do good.